Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's a pretty nice day today. We got a light wind. We've been having a lot of heavy winds, which um, has really dried everything out because we haven't gotten a lot of rain. And so uh, everything's starting to get pretty brown. Drying up, getting pretty crispy around here. So we're getting some dark clouds, but they're not producing any rain yet. So really hoping that soon we get some rain. So praying a little bit, praying for that rain to cut loose and uh, have a bit of mercy on this land. Anyhow, so we went to some friends of ours, all hopped in a cab, and there's a place here called Crystal Mountain. Um, I don't think it's officially called that, but um, locally they kind of call it Crystal Mountain. And it's out past Jangana, and there's a little unassuming road that goes up in the mountains. Um, I'm going to say it takes about an hour and a half once you get to that road driving up the mountain. Um, it is a fairly treacherous road. Parts of it are pretty good, but then you get up a little bit higher. There's a lot of moisture. There's more landslides. Um, and so I wouldn't go without a four-wheel drive. And that's why we ended up taking um, a cab up there to uh, navigate the, the rocks and the landslides and everything. And plus, he knew where to go. Um, we didn't really know where to go. So we, we all packed in the cab and took off up there. And we had a really wonderful time. They say a better time to go is like in the September time frame. But... It's in a cloud forest, so we were really hoping, we've heard that if you can go and it's a clear day, you can get some amazing pictures, and it's so high up there. I don't doubt that they would be amazing, but I'm going to have to say we had a pretty amazing trip as it was. I don't know if it was just really good company on the trip, but um, we had a blast. Uh, about halfway up, we came across a landslide, and that's kind of what you're looking for um, to find the, the crystals. Um, I got a couple. I'm not going to say I'm not a rock hunter. I'm, I'm going to say that. I am not a crystal hunter. I do like rocks. I like interesting rocks, and I did bring some home that I thought were pretty interesting. Um, most of them were a little bigger. Um, we did find a couple of crystals, but evidently the landslide um, was about a month ago. So we missed probably the best crystal hunting opportunity. But time is what it is, and so we went when we were able to go. So we had fun. Halfway up, there was a landslide. We got out, got our shovels and our little digging tools and bags and buckets to put stuff in. It's like playing in the sandbox with your friends. Um, <laughs> we all walked around digging around in the rocks. We found some interesting stuff. Uh, but, you know, again, I, I'm going to say we were probably there for at least an hour just digging around. And then we decided to head on up and we wanted to go all the way up to the top because at the top there is a uh, communication a military base communication tower and that's when you know you're at the top and the road kind of ends right there with the uh, the fence and everything from the army base but i'm going to say the most intriguing part to me was the changes not just in the weather so here at home, it was warm and sunny, and we thought, mm, it's going to be a really good day for some really good um, landscape pictures and, and some good views. And I'm going to say halfway up the mountain, you could get that. You got really nice views. You, you picked up a lot of really pretty pictures. 
not going to say we saw a lot of animals. I did see a bird or two, but they were, you didn't have time to get out and set up to take pictures of any animals or wildlife or anything like that. Um, we did see some other um, friends that were up there and they were, took a taxi up and then they bicycled down. And so uh, I don't think they went all the way to the top because it was really cold up there. But midway through, I mean, we were hot. And then midway through, we came across the landslide. We got out of the truck and it's like immediately got colder. Not freezing cold, but enough to put your jacket on. So we put our jackets on. We were ready for that. Um, but then when we left there and went further up, we didn't get back out of the car until we were at the very top. And it was amazing all the way up. And we kept thinking maybe the wind would blow this um, fog away, the cloud that we were in, kind of blow it away so we could get out and get some really great pics. But it did not. We, we traveled all the way up. We didn't get out. We got to the very top of the mountain. And it was so windy and so cold. It was 7 degrees Celsius, which is about 44 degrees Fahrenheit. But the wind was so strong, you couldn't hardly stand up. Even at 44 degrees Fahrenheit, I'm pretty sure I had icicles in my hair from the moisture and the wind chill and everything else. Uh, could not keep a hat on. The wind was blowing so strong. Could barely get the truck door open uh, because the wind was just blowing against it. But it was a whole nother world up there. It was amazing to see everything, how different it was. It, it was like going from Earth to Mars. Everything was so different. Nothing was the same as it was halfway up the mountain. And uh, it, it, the pictures, the, the plants, you figure they must live in this cloud most of the time. So they don't get the same level of sunshine as everything else. So I'm going to put the plants more in a succulent family. But as we were driving up, you couldn't really get a picture of this, but it w we were in the cloud. It was super, super foggy. The wind was blowing so hard and you could see it blowing the moisture right in front of the, the truck. And it would hit the side of the mountain where all the plants were and the plants were just dripping with the moisture. So it was absolutely beautiful but again couldn't get a, pic, a good picture of it but when we got to the top we did get a, we got out and we were there i'm going to say probably a half hour freezing to death i mean it was one it was hard to take a picture of the stuff because the wind was blowing on you so hard um but it was amazing when you did get a good picture of some of that stuff the the colors for an area that has basically no real sunshine most of the time, the colors were vibrant and gorgeous. And the variations of the plants were just absolutely incredible. Um, I loved all of it. And I think I loved the top the most just because it was so very different. We just... We stayed out, we, we took pictures. One of us in the vehicle, I'm gonna say, did not bring heavy enough jacket. He did not get out during that time, but uh, the rest of us did, and, and it was cold, it was really cold. So definitely go with friends and go with um, enough to keep you warm, because it, it's really cold up there. And I don't know if it's as this windy all the time, but for us, and it was a windy season, but it was so, so very cold. It was not what we were expecting. I don't think any of us took heavy enough jackets. We did take jackets, but not heavy enough. But it was a lot of fun. So I do have this one video and it, shows the side of the mountain just to give you kind of a glimpse of where we were. It shows the side of the mountain and then it kind of fades into the fog and that's the road we came up on and then I pan around to the edge of the cliff 
and that's all you could see. It was, it was just incredible. I'm going to say they built another communication tower that's not quite as high up. And I don't know if this one's still occupied. Um, it's fairly dilapidated up there. The fences are not in good shape or anything like that. But this video is for people that want to go to the top of the mountain and to experience um, a whole other world. And it's also for the people that can't go and just want to enjoy the beauty of what Ecuador has to offer at that level. So enjoy the pictures and we'll see you next time. Ciao for now.